But at the moment, the buzz name is Does Play. We're looking at 28 competitions over 28 days. Okay, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, as I forget to turn the music off, which is always a good start here, but welcome back to the semi-final of the Alpha bracket of tonight's Does Play 4v4 competition. We've got Endzone up against Phoenix Rebirth. It's 1-1 in the series. That means we're here on an s &T. First round already going in uh, the favour of uh, one of the teams I didn't actually catch no, who I it was. I think it was Endzone. Uh, I think it was the top team, Endzone, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, Endzone playing well off the start. Not one player dropping, and that's going to be a good round for them so far in this uh, in this search and destroy, and they've started off well. I'm Lockdog, joining me is Benny Sim, and we're going to get into this second round. Yeah, it was a really good start by the Endzone team there. Um, I think it was Lowy who pushed up on the flank, which enabled his team. It was actually open on the flank. There was no one watching the flank for the team of Phoenix, so... He was able to sort of get behind them and cause a little bit of trouble there, but as you see, it's a looks like a fast A push here by Happy. He's going to jump on the bomb and get it down nice and early. Um, he's actually planting. He's got a couple of. He's got. I think it's Lowy up top and Spartan inside that are waiting for him to push through. But he was able to get the bomb down there. Gets taken down from fire. Um, they quickly got two down there. So end zone in a four v two situation here. Let's see, Ibis picks up the one. Pre aim in the fire. He gets tagged up but he, and he gets taken down there and it's links in a 1v3 situation here. Um, picks up the first one there, there's a player on the bomb. Unfortunately he gets taken down there um, and end zone's able to pick up the second round here. Yeah, Lynx, they, um, or oh, oh, Lynx, he, he thought that there might be a player defusing at the time so it was a smart idea to do that double jump, just check the bomb. Unfortunately he was just, uh, really in a very open spot once he did that and two players shooting at you it's going to be almost impossible to get those kills so it was easy in the end for Endzone to take that round especially once they got that player into fire early on in that round to kill that bomb carrier we will jump on board with Endzone now see what they're going to do as uh, Spartan seems to take the bomb Stubbs actually pushed into fire to make sure that same thing doesn't happen to them we'll jump on board with Lowy who's going to try and go for the scope can't see anyone Stubbs actually in mid is going to pick up a kill he's going to work his way up uh, to maybe dropping down into the bottom room in that hard point room but it doesn't seem to uh, want to do that as of yet bomb does go down as a kill goes down Domino will take down fibers and Stubbs should get shot in the back here there's a player right behind him he goes for the shots can't pick up the kill deceptive does go down there no now links in a 1v3 using the IMR does pick up the first kill there on Lowy knows there's a second one up top is he going to try and go for that kill he's only got 19 seconds left doesn't have a lot of time trying to find his way around this map does he see Spartan over that right side I think he does some shots come out they're going to pinch him and that's going to be a scope end zone picking up 3-0 so far here in search and destroy and they're looking strong to take out this map yeah, no, it's a really good start from the team in the end zone. I think this is map three of a three-map series, so... Um, and, and get to a 3-0 start here with uh, Dovin on a, currently on a four-kill streak, or a four-point streak, I should say. Um, I wouldn't mind a start. I'm not sure whether they'll be on the defensive or attacking team here. Uh, they'll be on the defensive team. I think he's got the scope out, if I remember correctly, Dovin, so he must have overkill. Um, he does. I'd like to see how he goes here. He's obviously going to try and get a quick pick over B. Um, unfortunately, I think there's a player below. He's right there. It's Lynx. See whether we'll be able to see him on the scope. He just misses him. I'm gonna rotate to A as yes, there's a bit of uh, attention over there. As you see, there's a bit of gun gun attention. Um, and he's gonna pick up a kill on third. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to capitalise there. And you see bombs getting put down if you are watching the mini map on the top left hand corner here. And that was happy. 2v3 situation, 1v3, Spartans left in a 1v3 situation there, where he is, see whether he can pick up a couple of kills, there's one below him, I'm going to push back out basketball court here and oh, picks up the one up. kill there, but unfortunately gets taken down straight away. Yeah, hey, uh, just interesting how he got the first kill there on Fibers and uh, he really forgot about the kill he was chasing once he shot about that he should have probably backed off because Lynx was always going to be 
there somewhere trying to pick up the kill. Pushing forward was always going to be a death sentence there for, uh, for Spartan as he goes down. And that's going to be the first round so far for the team of Phoenix. Uh, and they, they need to pull off some rounds. They need to get this defensive round. Let's see what Endzone have up their sleeve for this attack as it's going to be Stubbs is going to go use his cloak going to try and push into mid is Lynx going to see him Lynx is going to be there on the other side we can see that with COD vision the shots are going to come out Stubbs will pick up that kill deceptive on the other side of the map took out Spartan after Spartan took down Fibers Stubbs is going to go on the flank here try and pick up some players over near A sees one on the stairs will take down deceptive as well now that's going to mean that Haffy is in a 1v3 situation he's sitting on the B side which is the wrong side of the map to be on they're planning over at A, all players around it. Let's see what he can do. Yeah, you had to get another 1v3 situation here. Is he, he might be able to get the guy off bomb if he pushes through. Um, picks up the one kill there, but obviously he's given away his position. Is he able to pick up? Oh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to pick up the kill on Stubbs. Um, it would have made a different situation if he was able to get that kill there, but Stubbs' reaction was uh, a little bit too quick as he was aware that the gentleman was pushing through fire as he just killed his teammate on the bomb there. Um, so I think it's a 4-1 lead now in favour of the team end zone. Um, and they've got the de defence here. I just see Stubbs going nice 7-3 with a 3 kill streak. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see what they do on the defence here. Generally they've been sending 3 to A and 1 to B. Um, we'll stay with, I think it's generally Happy that gets the bomb. And it is. As you see here, they're going to be pushing B. Um, last time it was Dovin that went across to B with a scope. So we'll see whether... He's able to pick up a kill here, or Happy is able to get down the bomb. Um, as you see in the minimap there, obviously they've been called out. There's a B push, and they're starting to rotate. Kills from Stubbs, but uh, in the meantime, Dovin does get go down. Go down, but you see two pushing through Dale there. As he's going shots off, I'm not too sure. I don't have any footage of the German inside. I'm still with Happy here, seeing whether he's gonna gonna put the bomb down. And he is pushing through. He's going to come in with a play around the corner here. Fortunately, gets taken down by Lowy. Now Ooh. it's a, a 1v3 situation for Deceptive. He's left on their third. See how he approaches this now. Yeah, he's going to try and push through mid and uh, work something out here. He needs to look to his left, though. There's a player there as he sees him. Yes, finally, after the third time he poked, does pick up that kill with the headshot. Going to work his way around. Two more players left. He's going to uh, maybe push out the back door. No, he's going to go to the side to Woodsby directly. There is a player there watching it through that door. That's going to be Lowy. Lowy will have seen him. Is he going to contest? Misses the knife, and he's going to go down. And 5-1 is going to be the score. End zone coming up big at the moment. And the team of Phoenix Rebirth struggling a little bit here on Search and Destroy and Lowy. Uh, just a good spot. Didn't poke out too early. Really need to and just wasted as much time as possible picking up that kill. 5-1 to one will be the score and that's uh, pretty much uh, sums up the whole way that this Search and Destroy has gone. It's been all end zone and let's see what they can do in attack. See if they can close it out or whether the team of... Uh, Phoenix Rebirth can make something of this game. Yeah, as you see, first kill there from Link, he was able to pick up something in the mid map there. I'm not too sure whether there's a little bit of miscommunication, but uh, Dubs actually picked up the bomb rather than Spartan there, and they weren't able to do their normal push. Um, a lot of shots going off there, and they was able to pick up a couple there. Um, that's three down yet again for Phoenix. Uh, Happy's left in a 1v3 situation, um, and it looks like the team of Endzone are going to be pushing that A bomb site, and Happy's sort of in mid map here. He's uh, he's going to have to start pushing now. As he's going to come through with someone in mid map, I believe they push their side. They push down second, um, and he's starting to rotate through third. He's going to come. Oh, unfortunately, it doesn't look the correct way, and he was able to get taken down there. And that's a, a comfy six one lead to the team of Endzone. Uh, they never really look in too much doubt there. Uh, they always got in a good situation, always in a 3v1 situation. And, and nice shots from Lowy there with the uh, the thermal Amelie, I think it's called. I'm not too sure with the uh, the LMG names there. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, definitely 
was able to uh, pick up the kill nonetheless. Lowy, 7 and 3, 1,000 score, 1 plant, 1 diffuse. So the MVP there in that uh, search and destroy and end zone. Fairly comfortably in the end, they were challenged on that hard point and went down in a 10 point loss, which was. Just uh, an extremely good match to watch between these two teams, but then in the uplink end zone, 1 6 2, and then 6 1 again in the search and destroy. So they, uh, they really came up big when necessary, and now they're going to go into that grand final, and that is going to be up against the team of Lakey the Useless, consisting of of uh, Brownie, Excite, Lakey, and their last player has escaped my... Yoshi, I think it is. Yoshi, Yoshi's going to be the last player there um, in that team. So that's going to be the team coming up next to face the uh, the end zone squad here in the grand final of the Does Play 4v4 Night Comp Alpha Bracket. So we're going to go to a break, and uh, when we return... That match will be uh, will be right here on uh, twitch.tv slash dustplay. But at the moment, the buzz name is Dustplay. We're looking at 28 competitions over 28 days. <laughs> 